Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to do a video on the INS. We are here in Aphelia 747. This tutorial should apply to all aircraft that does have the INS simulated in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. We are in X-Plane in the Aphelia 747 Classic here anyway, which has a very good simulation of the INS. But as you can see here, this is what it will load up into the LTN, which is a new feature that Aphelia brought in recently. So this is all only applies to the Phoenix, of course, but most of this will apply to all aircraft. So all we're going to go on the main page, options, and then just select through them. You can also do the default FMS there if you want to. I'm going to cycle back to the, the CIV. We are currently here in Trinidad and Tobago, and we want to go to St. Martin right here in the Caribbean. Nice short flight. We won't do it, of course. We'll just be pre-programming it here now. So this is Volanta. I would highly recommend using it and downloading it if you haven't done already. The crucial part here is that we are going to use Volanta to see where, what waypoints we should be picking. So if you have a look very, very closely, this is when you need to pay attention and make sure your aircraft is loaded up and powered up, ready for the INS to be inputted. If you have a look here, we can see all these waypoints in Moro, GND, etc. There's VOR there all cycle through so make sure you have something like this where you can visually see the flight plan where you can visually see where you're going to be changing directions that's because that's going to be absolutely crucial as we begin putting in our flight plan so Volanta I'd highly recommend you can also probably do it on Navigraph if you have a Navigraph subscription and loads loads and loads of apps that are useful for this highly recommend downloading Volanta just up link the sim brief flight plan here feel free to follow along my ofb i've i will link the ofb down in the video description which will always be there so feel free to follow along which i'd recommend doing so first things first as cap Canada would say we're all we're going to do we're going to put in our initial position make sure you have got these little switches these ins startup switches to nav it should really be on the line and then you put it to nav after you have aligned it so i'm just doing a little cheat here Anyway, the waypoint number should be now on number zero. So this is the waypoint number right here. So if we click through them all, it can get hold up to nine waypoints or well, technically 10 initial position as it were. And so this is the waypoint number. These are all the keypad buttons. We'll worry about those in a second. And then this is kind of like the selector, the mode selector. So you don't need to worry about the majority of them, but it's so very self-explanatory. So once we put in our position there, that's what will come up. That's what the waypoints will be able to cycle through here. This is the distance time once we put in our route, once we're flying, you can start calculating that. And that's the wind, of course, that will just slow degrees, degrees on the left, and then the magnitude, the knots on the right. So make sure you are on the position now, selector, and we're going to be on waypoint zero. We're going to come over here. This only applies to the feelers, of course, but most aircraft probably have this. We're going to go to INS inserts present position we just click that and it has inserted our position there you can do this via sim brief but i just find it very easy to do it here if you want to do it via sim brief on my ipad as you will be able to see on the screen now if you come down here to the third page of the ESP, this is just in one note just so i can annotate it if you have a look here this is where we are at the moment so the initial position is right here Th these are the numbers that we will be using throughout the flight so you can see this is our separate waypoints in Mulroy, as you saw on Volanta earlier. We're going to want to put in these numbers, but this is not going to be a sim brief OFP tutorial. Watch someone else for that. So you can, of course, put those in there. So as you can see on the screen now, that is our initial position. North 1035 on the latitude 0.7. That's roughly the same. And west, that is roughly the same as well. So that is all looking good. So that's what you'd use. That Those are the numbers that you would be putting in if you were doing it manually. Also, make sure you check the charts. Say parking spots and coordinates. And then you'll be able to see the spots and then the coordinate in the table. So that's what you would use if you were doing it manually, of course. To get it bang on. As you can see here, this is more accurate than what we have on the Simbri flight plan because the Simbri flight plan OFB here is just going to be for the airport and not for the individual gates like this thing is doing. But anyway, back to the tutorial. So you can annotate this, basically anything. You can probably edit the PDF if you really wanted to. So just use anything you want to. 
even print out a couple of pages if you really wanted to. Just make sure that you know which waypoint is which. Make sure you save the PDF, especially if you are flying or VATSIM. They'll say, go direct to X waypoint. And you'd be like, what number is that in my INS? So make sure you assign each one a number like we're just about to do now. So our initial waypoint here, zero, we don't really need to worry about this. We're just gonna follow along here. So it depends what you wanna do. It depends how long your flight is as well. So it can only hold nine waypoints. So you will have to input, re-input the waypoints, re-input the flight plan as you go through the flight. Just make sure you're all good on that and make sure you're not overwriting a waypoint that you're currently following to, because otherwise that's gonna lead to carnage. So make sure you keep the numbers up and running, but you will have to put in extra waypoints if you are flying longer flights, not like this. So our first waypoint, I'm gonna skip a more road because we are kind of going that way anyway. So our first waypoint is gonna be Gulf November Delta. So if we have a look here, this is our first waypoint where it says Gulf November Delta. These are numbers that we're going to be using. So we're assigning each one. Number one now. We head along this flight here. You can see we're not changing direction at all here. So I'm going to skip these. I'll put this one in. Sierra Victor. It really doesn't matter which one you put in. Just make sure you go in the right way, basically. And of course, if you are flying across an ocean, a really large ocean like the Atlantic, make sure you put in as many crossing points as possible because otherwise your flight plan is going to be completely messed up. We're going to put in Bravo November Echo next, so that's there. Make sure if you do not want to put in extra waypoints throughout the flight, then you're going to want to make sure you space it out enough. So our next waypoint, number three, is going to be Bravo no November Echo here across this island, Martinique. It's going to be Foxtrot, Oscar Foxtrot. These are all VOR destinations, so three-letter waypoints are all VORs, if you didn't know that already. So Foxtrot, Oscar Foxtrot. We scroll down here, number four, and then keep on... Keep on following it down. Head along here. Our next waypoint is Delta Oscar Mike. How are we doing here? I'm going to skip that one. Next waypoint, just where you're changing direction. Papa. Papa Romeo. Which one are we on now? Five. You can see that was the Delta Oscar Mike there. These are all VORs, as I said. And you can use that throughout the flight for navigation. So you can see we are heading our ways now. So there's Duck Bimbo. We're not changing direction there. Sierra Kilo Bravo. And it's quite hard to see because the scale changes every time that you move in. So Sierra Kilo Bravo. Not that one. Number six here. And then keep on heading down across the flight. And Zapta. Next waypoint. Number seven. And of course this thing doesn't have SIDS or STARS. So you just be wary about that in the INS. And then this funny waypoint we're just going to put in here. So that's going to be number eight. You can see this is the end of our waypoints here. So if you're wondering where this is on your OFP, make sure it's on the LIDO format which is the default one. And then scroll down, there's the third page, page number three here, and then page number four, it should start at, unless you've got a weird flight plan. There's number eight. That's our number eight waypoint. And our final waypoint, before we turn final for runway 28 here in St. Martin, it's gonna be this waypoint. So we're going to do number nine here and this is our arrival so i'd spend probably about five minutes five or ten minutes before each flight you'll get quicker as you do it through assigning yourself numbers for each waypoint so this is going to be absolutely critical in the next stage here to put it into our ins but as i said earlier this is just going to be a basic ins tutorial so if you are one of those hardy people who want to get full realism well first of all watch this video of course but do check out other videos. Probably still see my iPad on the screen here. All we're going to do down here where it says waypoint, you can also, if you really want it to, you can press remote on all these buttons here. Our first waypoint, so all we're going to do, use the scroll wheel if you want to, or just click it. We're going to go to waypoint number one. Make sure you are on the waypoint, of course. That would help. You can see our first waypoint or our initial position. I have done it where I've started the flight plan on waypoint number zero, but I don't think you're meant to do that, so I wouldn't. So we're going to go to waypoint number one. And then the easiest way to do this, this is a latitude and longitude. Put a little diagram up here, which one's which. And so this is our latitude here. That's our latitude. So we're just going to put in north one two row one you don't need to do any decimal points because it's already done it and make sure you press insert if you are flying in the southern hemisphere you can just press south and then obviously that would work there but very very important tips is first of all make sure you press insert second of all make sure you do not make any mistakes at all double check it so you can see that we're north one two zero zero decimal one on the latitude there. Make sure you double check it, because if you put in slightly wrong, I mean, it's the same thing if you put in a slightly wrong waypoint, but 
in the FMS, but it's not, it's much worse. So as you can see here, our second set is going to be West, going to be 0, 6, 1, 4, 7. We'll speed up for the second waypoint here. So that's correct. Insert, and then we're going to go to the second waypoint. Scroll down here to Sierra Victor, St. Vincent. Vincent? I'm not French, so I can't pronounce words. <laughs> We're English. Right, one, zero. I just pressed north there. One, three, zero, eight, four. Insert west, zero, six, one, one, three, six. Just double check here that I have put it in. So north. If you press insert, you can always clear it and overwrite the waypoint. So don't worry if it is completely messed up. You don't have to reload the plane and stuff. One, three, zero, eight, decimal four, and then west, zero, six, one, one, three, six. Make sure you have put in the right place, as it were, north, west, south, east. Make sure you have put in the right one, because otherwise it's going to be completely wrong. You're going to be going to, like, China or something if you put in east. So, right. Insert, I'm going to go to the third waypoint, scroll down here on our OFP to Bravo November Echo. You can see we're on the third waypoint. North, one, three, four, four, zero. Insert, zero, six. Oh, no. You can see there I went slightly wrong. I didn't press west first, so make sure you do that. West, you can verify there. We're west if we're at east then it will be up there and it'll say the letter e of course so west zero six make sure you put in the zeros zero five eight six you can see there that's all correct go to the fourth waypoint almost there at F foxtrot oscar foxtrot another vor here they're all vors anyway let's go to north one four three five four insert west zero six one zero one four you can follow along here i'll link the flight plan that i've been using down below insert and then number five scroll down here to papa papa romeo can you go north one six one five don't worry i'm not slow as this normally i go to west zero six one three two four i'm just putting in the waypoints i find the inf it's just i just love it <laughs> so satisfying compared to the fms and it's proper old school there so i find that very very useful right next we are gonna go waypoint number six go down sierra kilo bravo north one seven one seven seven you can see we're gradually going north the numbers become bigger on the north side then west zero are we on number six here we are make sure you <laughs> make sure you type in the right one i've done that many times where i've been looking at the wrong one so we are here west zero six two four four six insert number seven i'd recommend scrolling down like this so it's the first waypoint that you see on the fb which helps me there north one seven two eight four insert west zero six two five zero zero and insert there number eight pull in there we go to north one seven four nine seven insert west zero six three one five seven and correct that there if you really want to you can go back and look at all your waypoints as you go along of course make sure they're all there <laughs> of course so you make sure you press in so because otherwise they'll just disappear every time that you cycle through the waypoints <laughs> the final waypoint today before we turn final it's going to be north one eight zero zero nine insert and west zero six three one seven five insert that there and bingo well oh, that's the dimmer you have now inputted your whole flight plan of course as i said earlier if you are doing a much longer flight than this this is only about an hour and a half less than that but if you are doing much longer flight with more waypoints 
for example, if you're flying over Europe, you're just going to have tons of waypoints in your flight plan, then you're going to want to put in, you can only do so many waypoints, and then throughout the flight, like halfway through the flight, you're going to have to repeat this process and just overwrite the waypoints, but not the ones you're flying to, of course, because otherwise you're fried. <laughs> Make sure you are on the heading knob if you are doing that. So you can see our whole flight here. That's our initial position. Cycle through there. And the wind, as you can see here, I think that's the distance. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. If you're looking for where the DME is here, it will be pretty much be quite similar to, to where it is in other aircraft. Now in the fee list, you can, if you press that there, you can use your keyboard and type it in, but that is when it's flashing. But we have not done remote, so if you have a look here, don't get nervous when you don't see any of the waypoints here. You only really need it on one. But if you did really want to, you could press remote and it'll sync it across all INSs, and that's probably what they do in real life, just for redundancy. Now just something a bit extra, if you wanted to go direct to a waypoint, for example, you want to do a massive short shortcut in your flight plan or ATC gave you a shortcut if you run VATSIM or an online network all you would do you press this little waypoint change button you can see we're going to waypoint number one at the moment if you press this waypoint number waypoint change button you can just press the waypoint you want to go to so this is absolutely crucial here that you do have your numbers here in your flight plan so for example if you wanted to go direct to Sierra Victor, you would just put in your waypoint number two here. Put in your waypoint number, so you want to go waypoint number two, you go zero, two, and insert. Now we're going direct to waypoint number two there. So it's simple as that, this is the waypoint that you are going direct to. Of course you want to test all the lights here, you just press this button down here. Anyway, I really hope that video was useful to you all. I know this is going to be quite challenging as well for the first time for lots of you. So thanks for watching. This has been a very long tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Please do like the video if this did find this useful. Do suggest what you'd want to see in the future. Lots of tutorials coming, so make sure you are subscribed. And we are free now to continue with the startup. Thanks for watching everyone.